Welcome back to part two, which is the decorating stage, our favourite bit. So what we need to do now is get out our polyfiller, some colour, some piping tips and some piping bags. If you have missed part one of how we've got the base um, and put the height on, etc., there is another tutorial on my TikTok, which will be labelled part one. I have chosen the 4B tip, which is the thick one. I bought these, I think, a set of five from Amazon. Um, obviously, if your bake is a lot thinner than this, you know, the width of your glass, if you are working on the dome or the little mini mason jars, I would advise using a smaller tip than this. Otherwise, your polyfiller is going to look far too big for your bake. So just bearing in mind when you do cut these um, to pop it into your plastic bag, that you haven't cut your bag too far down because what happens once you start putting pressure on your bag your filler might start sort of like coming out of the ends which we don't want i've also picked out some dark red acrylic paint and i have popped some lightweight filler inside this pot which you're going to see why in a second as discussed in part one regarding the color lifting i do want sort of like a red and a white uh, piping on top of this so what happens is, if I was to now mix that into there, obviously as discussed, this is going to go sort of like a pink. So we don't want the pink, so I'm going to try and keep the red as strong as I can. You might want to just go in straight with your uh, white polyfiller now and just sort of like pipe yours white. If you do want um, a red top, what you'll have to do is pipe in white, let that set and then go over with your acrylic paint. So to keep it the strongest red that I can, I've just popped some acrylic paint just inside my uh, piping bag. Just make sure that you haven't got too much paint in there because obviously it's going to make your polyfiller quite sloppy. And then just with a paintbrush, I'm just going to sort of like drag this about inside. Just spread the colour out um, about a little bit. And then this is why you need your polyfiller separate because what I'm going to do now is pop my white polyfiller over the top of my red acrylic paint if you don't pop it in a mixing pot and you're going straight into your white pot what will happen is you'll end up uh, getting all your red paint inside your big pot which we don't want i have now placed my polyfiller into my bag and as you can see all the acrylic paint is now starting to sort of spread where my join is on my ribbon this is going to be the front because i'm going to put something on the front of this to sort of like cover that join if you're not putting anything on the front of yours obviously you can go to the back so this is going to be um, where i start first i always tend to start piping at the back because obviously you can do this in stages so you can pipe one and then stop and then keep going up and stop etc etc that way all your join for your polyfiller is at the back always have a baby tip to hand when you start piping that way you can keep wiping the tip it stops it clogging up so we're now going to start at the back then we're going to start squeezing our bag just work along the just of the rim of your um, ribbon or whatever you have done slightly pulling it up Twist in your glass as you go. And then you're going to stop. So then we're going to wipe the tip with the baby wipe. It stops everything clogging up. Twist your bag again, put some pressure on, and now we're going to work on the next. Just pop that to the back. A few mil inside the bit that you have just done use your uh, poly balls as a guide squeeze and just twist your glass around and then stop then we're going to use the same method all the way along so the next one again wipe your tip start at the back work along you know, you might want to do two to three uh, rounds of this. And then once you get up to the top, you just need to whip it and pull it. Do not worry if your piping is not the perfect as piping. It is just a base. So don't panic. Don't start scraping it off. Once you start decorating um, all this piping, the majority will get covered. From the kit, I have just layered these sort of like in a stack. 
and just mounted these with a cocktail stick with my glue gun and then the paint pots I do want at the top so you are best at decorating all of this whilst all your polyfiller is still wet so I'm going to pop this in the side here if your stick you know it needs a trimming down then you can do that but as long as it's adhering at the bottom and at the side with your polyfiller it might feel a little bit wobbly um, as you are decorating do not worry once your polyfiller is set it will set with it um, if it feels you know after 24 hours it's still sort of like uh, collapsing out then you can um, pop this out pop a little bit of tacky glue no glue guns pop that back in and then it will adhere to itself so I do want my little paint pot as a topper. There is a separate tutorial for this. So this is gonna go on the top. So this is what I say, you uh, you know, all the polyfiller does get hidden once we start decorating. So you don't have to be perfect with your polyfiller. I've just popped a little 10 and six just to cover my uh, little cocktail stick. Then there's also these prints as well. So what I tend to do with these is sort of like bend them. You might have to cut off um, some of the corners depending on obviously what base you have built. But I'm going to aim for the front of this. So just pop that in the polyfiller. I also have this one which again is cardstock so just give it a bit of a bend. I'm going to pop this more to the back. So because this is going to go to the back, I'm going to just trim off this corner here because I know that poly ball is sort of like sat at the top. So I want that so it looks like it's gone into the poly filler like this. So always start with your bigger things first. So, you know, if you are stacking and you've got quite a big topper to put on, um, that way you can work from your larger bits down to your smaller pieces. There is also two of these. So again, I'm going to scrumple this up, decide where I want to put this. I'm gonna go at the front. So I'm gonna chop this corner off again. like this and then pop that into the polyfiller to the side so now to balance out the side I've put all my larger bits in um, I've just grabbed a couple of straws I'm going to cut these down and I'm going to have these two in this polyfiller down here next I'm going to fill in all this sort of like part here with the charms so I've picked out um, a love heart the red bunny and the black bow like I said um, in the previous step your charms may be slightly different so I've just popped those into my filler and as you can see we're starting to sort of like fill up all the little gaps uh, there was a little um, charm as well that I found in the little kit along with um, this little love heart and these two cards so I've literally just used my glue gun to glue those together um, and then pop my glue gun underneath there and just um, pop that onto the ace so this is going to go in the front here so I'm just going to use my glue gun and pop these on the front all my charms are now set in into my polyfiller this little black bunny is going to be featured on the frame kit they do come in different colours, I have kept those. Um, and then also, I've just sprinkled over the top with some red glitter. Normally, I do not use coloured glitter, especially if it's just on white polyfiller. However, I feel like it sort of like lifts the uh, paint a lot more. And this is the finished result. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Goodbye, everybody.